Stick around and watch me shave with this 3D printed safety razor and learn how you can be the newest member of the 29 cent shave club. Printable Science presents a 3D printed safety razor. The basic safety razor has been around for about 150 years. And even though there are all those multi-blade designs out there, lots of people still shave with the standard model. Sure, you can pay a dollar or two per blade if you want to, but you can buy the classic two-edged single blade for as little as a nickel if you buy in a reasonable quantity. You can buy yourself the classic razor blade for as little, uh, or I should say razor blade holder, for as uh, little as $10, and it's a, it's a simple three-piece uh, mechanism uh, consisting of, uh, of a handle and an anvil and a cap. But uh, why bother spending even that kind of money when you can print a great little safety razor for about 19 cents in plastic? Our safety razor consists of four parts. There's the anvil and uh, the handle and the cap. But because the 3D printer doesn't accommodate a bolt in the middle of a piece, uh, such as in the commercial uh, cap uh, representation, we print that bolt as a separate piece. You'll note... Uh, that the bolt has a scallop out of the top so you can either glue it in place uh, on the cap or just hold it in the correct orientation when you're screwing things together. To assemble the razor, it's a simple matter of placing a blade on the anvil, lining up the posts on the anvil with the holes in the blade, placing the cap on the anvil and pushing the screw through the hole in the top. Then you just have to tighten the handle to keep the whole mechanism together and you want to watch for two things here. First, that the cap is centered over the blade and the overhang is equal along the length of the blade. Then you also want to avoid over tightening the blade. Once you've got a little bit of friction, look at the edge of the blade straight on and as soon as the blade begins to deform, back off a bit so the blade returns to its straight edge, but that there's still sufficient tension in the handle and bolt to hold everything together. All right. You all know that safety razor blades are sharp and dangerous things, right? I'm not seeing all your hands. Okay, let the Tide Pod cautions roll, please. If you don't have experience with sharp razor blades, then don't try this at home. You can do serious damage to your friends, your pets, and yourself if you fool around with sharp razor blades. We printed our safety razor in PLA with a 0.2 millimeter height, two bottom layers and three top layers with two perimeter shells. And for strength, we printed the whole works at 75% infill. We print the cap on its end to avoid supports, but if it fails over in the middle of a print when you're trying to print it, then print it off with about five or 10 brim layers. And when that's finished printing, you can easily remove that with a bit of sanding. It's a good idea to sand the bottom of the cap too. Just a few passes to remove dimples or burrs that may have gotten there during printing. The sanding will prevent imperfections in the cap from prematurely deforming the blade. Well, there you have it. A 3D printed safety razor and once you've printed one off and given it a try, you'll be the latest member of the 29 cent shave club, which is a lot cheaper than the dollar shave club and you don't even have to pay postage and handling. But does it work? Well, not bad, actually. Here's a time lapse of me shaving on a couple of months stubble. Hey, give me a break. My facial hair just doesn't grow that quickly. I found it gives as close a shave as a store-bought fancy metal classic safety razor. And although I got a couple of nicks, that's something I experienced with the classic razor, too. Ah, not bad. True first blood. Fantastic. Smooth and uh, sweet as a, like a baby's bum, right? Okay. Tissue on the on the cut and I'll feel like I'm a, like a movie star or something. Let's see. Ta-da! I didn't manage to remove an arm or anything. 
I hope you get around to trying out our 3D printed safety razor, and I hope you'll let us know in a comment below about how well it went. Thanks for watching. And won't you help by becoming an important part of the Printable Science family and making this channel more valuable and successful? You can help us out by taking the time to watch this video in its entirety and other Printable Science videos as well, perhaps while your 3D printer is printing off this project. You can leave comments and questions below. That will help us to continue to create useful videos and 3D STL files that are printer ready and help you to maximize the power and utility of your 3D printer. Your feedback is very important. If you've enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you have just a moment, won't you show your support by clipping <laughs> by, won't you show your support by clicking on the subscribe button below. If you want to make sure you don't miss our upcoming videos on 3D printing, you'll want to click on the notify bell as well. And please, Consider supporting Printable Science on Patreon using the link supplied below. You can become one of our Patreon supporters for as little as a dollar a month, and it'll provide you with lots of extra and additional information, as well as going a long way to help defray the cost of making these files and videos. Down below, you'll also find a link where you can download a copy of the STL files from Thingiverse so that you can print your own safety razor. As always, you can download a copy of the STL files for this and other projects directly from our website. The latest files and a discussion board on our safety razor are available at the printablescience.com website, where all the science that fits, we print.